Uh, welcome to the second part of uh, Chapter 3, Section 2. Uh, as you can see up here, it's uh, 3.2b. We've got right there. And uh, what you have in front of you, hopefully, is the periodic table that I've given you. Uh, here's a box right up here of uh, a, an atom of carbon. Uh, you'll find the same numbers on our periodic table. And what we're going to do is we're going to refer to these so we can kind of understand what this means. Now, this first part, we talked about the idea of atoms and protons and, and neutrons and electrons and how they were discovered. Well, now we're going to try and uh, understand how the periodic table is written and how we can get those numbers. Um, as you can see, this is called periodic table and their numbers. And the first number that we have to uh, go over is this atomic number. And the atomic number simply tells you the number of protons in an atom. Boy, my writing, let me try and write atom again. That is just absolutely horrible. In an atom. Not much better. All right. So the atomic number is the number of protons. If you look on your periodic table, it is the whole number that you see. So you can see it right there. Now, some periodic tables write the atomic number on top and this number that's a decimal number down here on the bottom. Okay. Um, so don't let that bother you. Wherever the whole number is, uh, that is the atomic number, and it tells you the number of protons. So if I were to say, hey, how many uh, protons would you find in one atom of carbon? Hopefully you would go, well, there's six, because that would hopefully make sense to you. Well, let's look at a periodic table now, uh, right now, and I want you to find the element fluorine, and I want you to tell me how many protons are in one atom of fluorine. Okay, well, if you if you find it, it's way over here. Here's fluorine, all right? And you can see that number, that whole number is number nine. So there are nine protons in one atom of fluorine. Okay, now find iron. Pause the video if you need to. All right, maybe you found it. It's way over here, element 26. Okay, the symbol is Fe, and that's for the word ferrum, uh, but... It's still iron for us, okay? So tw how many protons? 26. So it's pretty straightforward. Now I do want to mention one more thing. We know that atoms um, are neutral. Are neutral. Okay, so if atoms are neutral and one atom of carbon has six protons, which have a positive charge, then how many electrons? Okay, And if you said six, you were exactly right. So really the atomic number tells us two things. It tells us the number of protons, but it also tells us the number of electrons. And that's in a neutral atom. All right. So there's our first number. Now we have this other number. Look at this, 12.01. And this number, just like all the other bottom numbers on the periodic tables, ha uh, has a decimal in it. Okay. So look at that. There's decimals there and there and there. You'll find them all over the place. All right. And what that number is is the atomic mass. And I believe I have my little definition right here. If not, I'll just write it out. Oh, I sure don't. Okay, well, let me write out what the atomic mass uh, is. It's just simply the mass of the atom expressed in atomic mass units, otherwise known as an AMU. Okay. So then what I've got down here, this bullet, is notice what an AMU weighs. 1.66 blah blah times 10 to the negative 24th grams. Not very heavy, right? And that's about the weight of a proton. So whenever you see that number, um, that is uh, how many AMUs one atom of that element weighs. Now, 
just to give you a little analogy, let's say that you step on your scale at home, your bathroom scale, and the scale says 158 pounds, right? Well, all that means is that you weigh 158 more times than one pound, right? So the atom of carbon weighs approximately 12.01 AMUs, or 12.01 times this weight right here, all right? So there we have it, two numbers that you'll find on the periodic table. And if we go and look back at this periodic table, and this one is really, I know the writing's small, which is why I'm hoping you're, you're looking at your periodic table right now. Uh, you'll see all of those atomic masses uh, all over the place, and they uh, they've all have decimals. Uh, and there are a few that don't. Um, some of the man-made ones you can see down here, the ones in parentheses. Okay, those don't have, and there's reasons why uh, they don't have, and I'll share that with you a little bit later. Okay, so we've we've got atomic number and we've got atomic mass.